the children who have no family reside in orphanages. After placing a locket around his neck and a piece of paper with writing on it. She then departs from there. The movie begins, after a few years when the war was still going on. The child has grown up and he was named Peter. The children in this orphanage aren't getting a meal because of the war. For this reason, they appear sad and upset. Here, Peter has befriended a boy and he tells him, that I think the owner is quite greedy. She has enough of food, but she's not giving it to us. And she lies that because of the war she doesn't have the food. And she stores that meal for herself. Peter and his friend decide to look into her room secretly in order to figure this out. When the owner goes with the children, by taking advantage of this. Peter and his friend go into her room to find the meal. When Peter and his friend check her room, they find a great deal of food. That the owner has stored, making the kids angry with her behavior. Many of the kids from this orphanage had been missing for a few days. They also find a large sum of money, which implies that she sells the children. Peter finds a file that surely belongs to him. That has the same paper that his mother kept there at the start when he was young. He starts reading his mom's letter, saying. My son, you haven't seen me, your mom, but I'm sure you'll meet me one day. His mother also mentioned that you're not an ordinary child. You're so special and are born to do something big. Later, the children sense someone approaching and start to run toward their room. The owner sees them getting out of her room, and accuses them of stealing. Angry, Peter queries about the letter that his mother sent him. While tearing it, she tells him that there is nothing true in it, it is fake tale. Nor does your mother has written it and Peter becomes sad to know this. At midnight, we could see some strangers while everyone was sleeping. From the roof of the orphanage, hanging with the rope they begin to enter the room. Later, they begin to take each child from the orphanage room one by one. During this movement, Peter and his friend wake up. And they begin to run from there to save their life. But they've seen them and they take them to the roof after capturing them. There all the children were put into a flying sea ship. They were sea pirates present inside the ship taking the children somewhere after kidnapping them. As the ship is ready to lift off, Peter's friend jumps and reaches a roof. And he asks Peter to jump and save his life. However, Peter was unable to jump because of his fear of heights. Later, Peter and the other kids are taken by the ship as it flies by. After moving forward, an army attacked their ship in the meantime. And when these pirates counterattack, a fight breaks out between them. Both sides were fighting on equal ground. After a while, saving from the army, the pirates were hiding in the clouds. The following day, they arrive in a strange place where many kids like Peter were. They were taken hostage by these pirates and are being held here. The owner of these pirates was a cruel man named Blackbeard. He used to break mountains from them or dig other places from them. From the green crystals emerge the precious stones that the pirate leader, Blackbeard takes. He assigns Peter to mine, and while doing so, he encounters the manager. Peter engages him in conversation and queries him, what specialty do these crystals have? The manager replies these stones are precious and contain magical powers. Peter doesn't believe it after hearing this and asks what Blackbeard does with these crystals. He tells him this is a secret that only Blackbeard knows. At night, we see Peter sitting at a place where he sees a boy sitting there upset. Peter tries to befriend him but the boy says no. I can't befriend you, because I'm not a good boy. So, I don't deserve anyone to be my friend, and he leaves after saying this. Later, while digging, Peter finds a green crystal and he becomes happy. When others know about it chaos starts there. In order to get the crystal, they surrounded Peter, so they can get a reward from Blackbeard in return. When he refuses to give them the crystal, they accuse Peter of robbery. That he has attempted to steal this crystal. As Blackbeard knows that Peter has tried to steal. He tosses him down from a height by hitting him with the leg, to punish him. He suddenly begins to float into the air on the way. But as he arrives near the earth, he falls on the earth and faints. He finds himself in a room when he wakes up. 
As he was coming out, Blackbeard comes and inquires about his reality. Who is he, is he a fairy, because he has seen him floating in the air? How can he fly? Later, Peter tells him about his past and his mom. He also tells him that my mom told me that I'm so special and have been made for a specific purpose. Blackbeard doesn't believe him and later he narrates his story and tells him. A boy who'll be half man and half fairy will take my life. So, I doubt that you might be that boy that can kill me. So, Peter was sent to jail because of this fear. There Peter again meets the same boy who sat sadly earlier. And didn't communicate well with him, but now he does. They befriend each other, and the boy, Peter's friend while consoling Peter says. Don't worry, I'll help you to release from jail. Later, we see them running from the jail and the manager captures them after seeing them. Peter persuades him after getting him to agree to go with him. Later, three of them begin to run from this area. With the help of a swing, they were approaching the flying ship. Meanwhile, Blackbeard's soldiers see this and cut the wire of their swing. Luckily, they fall into the swing instead of falling down. Without wasting a moment, they seat on the flying ship and Blackbeard was seeing this all. The manager, Peter's friend, and they don't know how to fly the plane. For this reason, they can't control it and they fall into the jungle. Fortunately, they don't get harmed this time, and they manage to save their life. Later, they continue their further journey on foot and as it turned night. And they were quite hungry so they begin to find their food in the jungle after staying there. Later, they sense a movement around and they become alert this time. Later, some giant and strange appearing birds attack them. They were strange because they seem quite horrible. Second, they had a body made up of half bones and half like birds. They begin to flee from there to save themselves from these birds. After crossing time distance, a tribe saves them from the birds. They were taken to their tribe's king. Who asks Peter's friend to fight with the bravest man in their tribe. A fight between them starts and the soldier dominates, and he tosses Peter's friend. Seeing his friend being beaten, Peter has mercy on him and he couldn't see him. He steps into the ground to save his friend, and he begins to fight with the soldier. During the fight, the king notices Peter's locket. After stopping the fight, he tells everyone that Peter is the brave soldier, our last hope. He'll save us from the cruelty of Blackbeard and his locket witnesses this. Peter and his friends were released and the tribesmen apologize for their misbehaving. The king asks Peter to fly, to check his powers. Peter was standing on height, as he was afraid of it and he couldn't fly. The king rags to see this and by giving him time for the following two days, he says. If you don't show your powers by flying within two days, I'll kill you and your friends. Here we see a magician who takes Peter into a magical room. She tells him his parents' story that they were quite brave. They've spent their whole life stopping Blackbeard. During this story we see Peter's mom who was a fairy and she fell in love with a king. She married him, and when Blackbeard knew this he grew jealous. He attacks them to separate Peter's parents, and to marry Peter's mom. In that attack, Peter's dad died. Peter's mother left him outside an orphanage to save his life. The scene we've seen at the start of the film. Later, Peter's mom went back into Blackbeard city to seek revenge. They have a huge fight and Blackbeard imprisons Peter's mom forever. After listening to this tale, Peter becomes ragged and wants to revenge on Blackbeard. He prepares himself for he works hard. The manager was walking into the woods. Blackbeard and his soldiers capture him and try to ask him about Peter. He informs them about this to save his life that we've been living in a tribe. Later, Blackbeard along with his soldiers begins to kill tribesmen after attacking them. Watching this, the king asks the magician to save Peter and his fellows. Because it is important to save their life, as only Peter can save their life from Blackbeard. The magician flies from there with help of a rope by taking Peter and his friends. Blackbeard begins to chase them when he knows about them. A giant crocodile attacks Peter while they were passing from the water. He falls into the water, and as he was in the water so, the crocodile attacks again. Before they eats him, mermaids save him after arriving there. Later, 
Peter and the magician reach a city where fairies live. There was a big door there, and the fairies live on its other side. Before their arrival, Blackbeard arrives and begins to wait for them. Because the door can't be opened like this but only fairies can open it. Later, Peter and the magician also arrive there. As Peter was a fairy so he opens that door after touching it. When it happens, Blackbeard attacks them. The fairies who live there attack Blackbeard after being together. In return, the soldiers of Blackbeard begin to fight with fairies. Both were fighting on equal grounds. A huge fight starts between them, and Blackbeard capture Peter. He was about to kill him, but Peter's friend strikes his plane with Blackbeard's plane. So, he losses his control and Peter runs away from there after taking advantage of the situation. Peter comes to a place that was on top, and he must jump to protect himself. He still has a height phobia so he can't jump. The magician was fighting bravely with the soldiers of Blackbeard and after defeating each of them. She begins to fight with Blackbeard, and Peter's friend begins to fight with him after coming there. After a fight, Blackbeard tosses Peter's friend and Peter can't see this. He has to save his friend's life at any cost. He acquires some strength and jumps from there. He reaches to his friend soon and sits with him. He gets shocked to see that he is flying. Later, after rescuing his friend, he sets him in a place where he doesn't have any danger. Peter goes to save that magician, and the fairies were also helping him to do this. After gathering, all the fairies attack Blackbeard. They torment him a lot and he becomes quite afraid. Later, Peter breaks his plane and the plane has destroyed completely. So, it begins to fall instead of taking off and Blackbeard also falls down with the plane. He dies on the spot because of falling from the top height. Later, all the fairies adopt Peter's mother's appearance. They tell him while giving his mom's message, that you'll stay here and protect the fairies. He agrees and begins to cry because he was watching his mom for the first time. He recalls his mom's message that she said, although you've not seen me,